and welcome back everyone to part 12 of what if Naruto had a Zabakto, the Benihime edition. I'm in my room for this one. Hold on. I need to be appropriately uh, <laughs> equipped. Benihime edition. Uh, so last time on the Naruto what if, we had the invasion of Konoha from Pain. Uh, Pain was not successful. Naruto having Ken and Barake, Benih well, honestly, Naruto having Benihime in general, uh, it it's one of those swords that is so versatile and powerful that it alone probably could have taken out the Paths of Pain, because once Naruto took out the Preta Path, he could have easily taken out the other ones with the sword alone, with the offensive capabilities, using Shibari Benihima to bind the other pains and then blowing their asses up. But combine that with Sage Mode, combine that with everything else he knows, plus Seals, Naruto took very quick wor uh, work of the pains. And it left off with the meeting that the Kage, uh, that the Damyo had with... Uh, Don, Zo, and a few of the others, people would, I think, Shiku, uh, Shik, not Shikaku, uh, what's, what was Shikamaru's dad's name again? It was she something, because that's mostly what the, uh, Shikamaru, hold on, because <coughs> that's, mo uh, that's how kind of all the, uh, Naruto, uh, the Nara characters are, uh, Shikamaru was, I want to say it's Shikachi, is that it? I'm probably wrong on that. Uh, Shinoichi? What was his dad's name? Damn it, that's bothering the hell out of me. He was there, is what I'm trying to get out of here. Uh, family, father, Sh Oh, it was Shikaku. It was Shikaku. Okay, it's just not... It's not Shikaku like Shikaku's name is, because, um, Shikaku's name is spelled, um, S-H-U, just use. Uh, it's Shukaku. Shikaku's name, I believe, is Shukaku, but his name is Shikaku. Uh, I could be... I might be messing that name up, but I think I got that right. Right, right, I got that right. Um, Shikamaru, One Tails, Escort Arc. Let me just check that real quick. Uh, oh, well, I'm trying to... I, yeah, I know it's... I know the names are almost spelled the same, but they're not quite the same. Let's see. Code... Where was that damn One Tail Arc? Where so I can find the Shikaku's name. <laughs> It's it's just kind of it's 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 eating at me. It's eating at me here now. Uh time slip. Oh yeah, okay. well uh Shikaku, Shikaku, Shikaku. Exact okay, that's exactly how the name is spelled. Shikaku is spelled S U K A K U. But Shikaku is spelled S H I K A U. So that's the difference in their spelling. But in essence, they're still the same name. That's why I'm like, it's not Shikaku, is it? I digress. So it ultimately resulted in Naruto having called out Danzo, Danzo for his outburst, because Nar Naruto was allowed to be there being the hero and being a lot smarter and wanting to know what's going to happen while Sonata's out, being there to, uh, to keep an eye on things. And yeah, he rightfully called out Danzo for trying to call out the third, and even called him out on, like, yeah, why was, did it take me so long to get here? We found the toad. It seemed to be stabbed. If I'm uh, remembering from what I've been told about you, you do have a blades on you, don't you? Uh, Donzo basically had to back the F off and be like, uh, I, I withdraw my statement. Because he also knows now at this point, even if his name were still uh, in the running for Hokage, he himself now has people questioning him, including the Damio. So... Yeah, no, he's not. And, and so the Dami's like, my, my, uh, the hero of the village, so resourceful. What, t why don't we let him be Okage for the time being? As in the art to which Naruto was like, wait, what? It is only temporary, of course. From what I'm told about you, it's your dream to become it, is it not? Uh, this will be a good test run for you. <laughs> uh, to which Donzo then decides to make, uh, to actually throw his hat, uh, not his hat in the ring, but decide to throw Jebba through BS. Yes, why not, boy? Let's see if you really are qualified to be Hokage or not. Well, it'll definitely, we'll definitely see what you're made of with the Kage Summit coming up. Wait, the Kage what? <laughs> and so, the, yeah, Naruto's now just trying to process what happened. He has no idea how long is going to be out for. And at the moment, he is the de facto leader of the Leaf. Which, when you really break down from a strength um, comparison... Uh, Naruto is either the strongest in the village at this point, even in canon when you think about it, Naruto is tech, well, technically all out, Guy was the strongest. Uh, going eight gates would put him over Kakashi, honestly. And Kakashi was probably still stronger than Naruto, because Kamui is such a broken ability. Naruto, Kakashi probably could have beaten Naruto. 
And uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. What do you, who do you think at the time of Pain being defeated was the strongest ninja in Konoha? Because uh, if we factor Tsunade into the equation too, I mean Tsunade's still Okage, but honestly Kakashi probably if you really if it really came push to sub and that's a versus I can do someday, Kakashi probably could beat Tsunade to be honest. Yeah, she has the healing rebirth genesis and like I, I think it's like one thousand hands or something like that healing technique, but she's not I, like a Chidori through the chest would be problematic. A Chidori through the head and there's, she has no counter to Kamui. Save for the fact that if she avoids a lethal shot, maybe her arm could grow back or something like that. Add on the fact that Gakashi has Genjutsu with the Sharingan. He also has Thousand Jutsu under his belt. He's, I mean, he, arguably, because of the Sharingan, he's technically got even more tactical experience than she does. She just has the more overall experience, but that Sharingan, man, that Sharingan gets busted in a lot of ways. I don't know. Who do you think was the strongest? I would say it's between Naruto, Kakashi, and Tsunade. I said Guy, but Guy is really only his the strongest one in the village when he opens the eighth gate and then he's dead. So without you know a day of six Machina to save his ass. So I don't know. Who do you think was the strongest in the village at the time after Pain? Regardless. <laughs> Hopefully I won't be doing too many of these tangents. Naruto is like, oh well, okay. Naruto for his to his credit, he's not freaking out. At least not externally. Like, he's putting on the brave face. Inside, though, he's talking with Benihime, like, holy crap, holy crap, like, this is happening. It's like, Naruto, this is only temporary. We're only doing this until Tsunade Tsunade comes. And then Naruto's like, she must never wake up. No, he's not going to be doing this. Like, that's true. Uh, but we'll do, you must do your best. And besides, he, uh, Don, Donzo, what Donzo said may have been a, a jab at you, uh, but this is actually a good point. It'll be a good test drive. Plus, you'll have your friends and your the senseis around to help you, as well as you'll have me. He's like, hey, thanks. Right now, I guess I got to figure out this Kage Summit thing. And so Naruto ta uh, talks with the, some people in the village, and he basically decides on his two entourage escorts, Sasuke, and, you know, his best friend and strong-ass ninja in his own right, who does have the Mangekyo at this point, and Kakashi, who, again, his mentor, all that, so forth, so on. Now, I will address the Nagato thing, uh, Pain going for the Renegon, not Pain going for it, Obito going for the Renegon, after, I can never remember what came first, him going for the Renegon, and then the Summit, or the Summit, then him going for the Renegon, I think it was the Summit, then him going for the Renegon, I think that's what happened, anyway, so Naruto heads out, Donzo is bitter at the moment and i'm not i'm also not going to say that donzo is done in the story i i think i got one other thing uh, prepared for donzo coming up but for right now donzo can't do anything he can only help with the uh, overseeing the rebuilding of the village because he lost out in the okage to a kid a near 16 year old kid oh that must make you bitter so they're heading out now I think they do still get attacked by those bandits who were, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, attacking the Leaf. I can't remember if they were attacking Donzo for the reason of, one second here, uh, due to the fact that um, it was Donzo. I don't think, actually, that's why they were attacking. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the reason they were attacking was it was because it was the Hokage uh they were attacking the Leaf for a specific reason. I am trying to look that up real quick here. Why don't I just look up Donzo real quick? Because that will explain when he became Okage, temporarily. Donzo. Let's see here. Donzo, there he is. Um, why they attacked him. But they might still get attacked regardless. I, in fact, it makes more sense that they get attacked. Uh, because it's the Okage. Because I don't think no one, anyone knew Donzo was the Okage at the time. So... Yeah, anyway, okay, so Kavai, Kage, Sasuke, <laughs> Arc, there we go. Meeting, missing Nen, uh, Donzo, or Sasuke, at execution for treason, Donzo, where, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all right, okay, Donzo later departed the Kage stomach with his two bodyguards, revealing the Sharingan and his rise argument when they were ambushed by remnants you know, from the lands of, land of woods along the way. Oh, that's a land we don't really hear much about. I didn't even know that was a good thing. So, okay, yeah. They're taken care of pretty quickly by Sasuke, Kakashi, and Naruto without really any difficulty. And they make it to the Land of Iron, where the summit's being held. They go in. And now, I can't recall 
for the life of me. Upon arriving, he meets the uh, start dance that did not actively participate. Other than, oh, come on. I'm actually trying to read this right now. Who was in the room? I think, was Donza the last one to show up? Uh, I I think Donza was the last one to show up. So I guess Naruto would be the last one to show up here as well. These are just the little, like, the little tidbits that could change, that, that you know, can change some matters. Because if Naruto's, like, not the first one, but second or third, that means there's some individuals who are like, who's this guy? Uh, like, with Donzo, everyone in, ever, all the Kages at the current time knew of Donzo. Like, he was a known ninja, or at least former ninja. Here, Naruto, there's only a couple people here who actually know of Naruto. Gara's obviously, obviously friends with Naruto. And I would imagine individuals like Anoiki, who uh, does not like Konoha at all. Uh, the Rai Kage, who respected the fourth and so forth. And had history with the Leaf as well. They probably have maybe at least heard of Naruto. Especially because Naruto's gotten stronger and made a name for himself. But I imagine May has only probably heard of Naruto through reports. At best. Like the Jin Cherokee of the Nine Tails, whatever. So when he gets in, hey everyone. Uh, grand, hi everyone, sorry I'm late. And say, like, what? The, uh, I, again, I gotta remember what the dub voices for these characters sound like. If I'm gonna be doing impressions. I'm pretty sure A is a bit more... Hey, this is a bit more like this. Whereas Inoiki sounds a bit more like an old man. Um, of course, that means that almost sounds like Saratobi there. He's like, who is who is this brat? Um, uh, of the Naruto Naruto Uzumaki, uh, ter temporary Hokage of the Hidden Leaf. Another, ah, uh, my word, another young brat. Kuchikara just smiles at Naruto. He's like, it's good to see you again, Naruto. It looks like you've made your dream happen. It's not a real, it's not the real dream. It's only a, a trial run. So not a um, so now he's out of commission since the since the attack on the village. So I'm feeling they was, I was promoted temporarily. <laughs> uh, by the way, someone did ask, is Naruto a Chunin at this time? I will say no, he's not a Chunin. I do think it's stupid that Naruto wasn't made a Chunin though. It just kind of is pointless to not make him a Chunin. Uh, give him like a mock test to see if he could handle doing tuning duties and just make him a tuning. For God's sake, they jumped him to Jonin by the end of the series. So why not just do it a tune? I don't get that. I really don't. Well, okay, and that's actually not true. Jonin, because of everything he did, it makes sense he became a Jonin. Because they even said he he did a lot of, he, he proved himself in the work to be capable. So between uh, uh, part one and Shippuden, I can see why he may not have been promoted uh, from there. Point being, the Noiki and A are both like uh, an uh, another young, another young brat, uh, and which A is more—he's grumpy, but he's—he's he's more looking at her. I was like, I recognize this kid. Where do I? He looks so damn, damn familiar. And to which May, being the flirtatious flirt she is, like, oh, well, I don't think it's, there's anything wrong with having young blood. Because fresh perspective, especially when the young blood is so cute. And to which Naruto's blush, she's like, ahem, uh, but thank you, um, um, Lord Mizukage. Oh, Lady Mizukage. Oh, please, call him May. <laughs> it's like, ahem. All right, if you're done, if you're done trying to get some jailbait, what ninja? She's like, just that jailbait. He's, he's of age. Which... In the Naruto world, actually, yes, he is. Um, old, uh, the old age, old enough to kill, old enough to die, old enough to drink, old enough to screw. Uh, so, yeah, technically, Naruto and Gara are of age for May, who I believe, I believe she's supposed to be in her early thirties, if I'm not mistaken. That's why she laments laments not getting married because I guess in their the, the Naruto culture, getting married more right around your twenty, early to late twenties is more advantageous. Not that there's anything wrong with getting married old later. I just and they're calling Kakashi. I still never get the Kakashi being an old man comment at only 29. I'm 34 for fuck's sake. I'm hardly an old man. There it is. I feel it, but I'm hardly an old man. Um, so I, what, maybe it's the white hair. Maybe that's what it does. It and his is more grayish silver than white. So I don't know. Jiraiya, you can get away with calling old man. So, the meeting of the five Kages begins, and they're going over what happened. The attack on... The, and it's A, obviously, who brings it up more than anything else, because his bro, his little brother was attacked. Killer B's not his actual brother, but he's his little brother. His brother, uh, Killer B, was attacked by the Akatsuki. And he does point out that all the Akatsuki have come from all of your villages, which is a really good point. Uh, there's never been a ninja 
from the cloud that was a member of Okatsuki, as far as we know. Although you could make an argument, Ginkaku and <coughs> oh, excuse me, Ginkaku and the, the Gold and Silver Brothers. Can't remember the other one's name. They could have easily probably become a member of the Akatsuki had they not been killed. So there are and Gara, they, there's not really a defense for this, but Naruto does chime in again, not against it, but kind of jury, jury rigs it. Uh, to because Naruto also, thanks to Benahime, does have a lot of knowledge of the history of the Leaf, uh, at least uh, or history of the Ninja World. Maybe maybe the Akatsuki weren't uh, and maybe there was never a member of your village who was part of the Akatsuki, but can you honestly say your village is as is just as squeaky clean history as any of ours? And a, he's like, what are you trying to get at, Brett? I'm saying exactly that. Everyone has everyone has tragedy. The Akatsuki may be a problem, but don't go blaming all of our villages simply because that's where they came from. If uh, I would not be blaming any of your, I would not be blaming your village solely or anyone else's village simply because of where the Akatsuki came from. Because let's be honest, it's not about where the Akatsuki came from. It's about ultimately what they did. Because the Akatsuki did not start out. Because I'm sure Conan would have probably given them a little bit of a run <coughs> down on their history. Because <coughs> the Akatsuki never started out trying to take over the world. They were just trying to do. They were just trying to make their way in it. It wasn't until they were corrupted by different ideologies that they became uh, that they were part of the way in the world, or that sorry that they became a threat to the actual ninja or, or actual way of life, and that the ideology didn't come from any ninja from this village. It came, which technically that's not true, but Naruto doesn't know that yet. It came from a ninja from a complete from the rain, and and you know this how because I spoke with the leader of the Akatsuki before. And his, uh, and his associate before he gave his life to resurrect the uh, my village, those fallen in my village, and this and and you believed him, and you and and why would you believe him? Why do you think he resurrected? Uh, why do you think he would resurrect everyone who died? Because I understood him. He was <laughs> uh, because we were able to relate. On a different note, there's the issue. Of, so how will be approaching this? And this is where, and again, uh, Anoiki may. Uh, I know he probably gets in his case like, what do you know, boy? I I have lived in order to be 15 at this point. He says he's almost six. He said he was almost 16, so he's 15 at this point. Anoki, I can't remember how old Anoki is. He's like in his late 70s, early 80s. I'm trying to use the basic math here for the. I've lived over three of your lifetimes, boy. I've seen, I've seen war. I've seen peace. Nothing, none of it lasts. What uh, you and you uh, and what do you? <coughs> you barely lived. <laughs> You barely lived a quarter of a ninja's life, or half of a ninja's life. Can you honestly say, why should we honestly trust your word and your experience over everything we've learned? Um, Twitch and artists, you can't. Uh, you have no reason to trust me. You've only just met me. But that's what the whole, that's the whole point of this, is to actually hear each other out, hear the facts presented, and try to make the best conclusion from that on how to proceed. And if you're on, and he goes to Anoiki now, who we know is a pretty stubborn individual too. Technically, A is the more stubborn. Anoiki is known as the fence sitter. <coughs> he kind of sits and waits. <clears throat> and if you, but he says, and if you're going to be so not pigheaded, if you're going to be so obstinate about it that you don't that you hear the facts, agree with them, but don't want to, but openly disagree with them because you don't agree with me. As, a, as the Kage, well, that you're hurting your own village simply out of your own pride. <laughs> and which you know, he's like, you little. And then, which Mifune is just like, that's enough. And May's just like, ooh, I like this boy. Uh, <clears throat> and so they continue on until Obito makes his presence known. Very, uh, so it seems, it seems the Nine Tails Brad really has become the, uh, quite the, quite the silver tongue. You were able to persuade Pit and Nagato, and now you were able, and now you're even able to start persuading the other Kages who have been at war, who have been at odds with each other since near the beginning of the Ninja World. I was like, man, to which they, I was like, wait, he's the Nine-Tailed Jinchuriki? I see. <laughs> he's like, then he, she, I know he probably remembers the redhead, that redhead, because we do have that Minato uh, one shot when we know Minato, uh, Kushina actually, I believe, met the. Iwa Jinjuriki in battle, which is actually apparently why the Rasengan was created to be a counter to Tailby spawns for Kishina. So there is like, and now, and not only does he remember Kishina, he remembers the other ninja with Kishina, and now he's remembering, oh, wait a minute, 
Wait a minute. It's like, boy, uh, one thing, boy, who is your parent? Who are your parents? To which Naruto actually does say, I can't, don't actually know. I never met my parents. <coughs> to which Naruto is lying because he <coughs> has learned that the fourth was his father. But he also knows that the fourth did not get along well with Iwa or Kumo. Uh, particularly Iwa. So, yeah, it's a, can't, I don't know. I can't say for uh, I don't know for certain. But I know they were someone of great importance. To which Naruto says just that. And then he realizes, like, crap. And both A and Onoiki are like, he's Minato's kid. I can I can see it on his face. That's Minato. Holy crap. Like, they're not saying this right now. Like, he's the important kid. Oh, my God. But you're like, oh, crap. Um, and so and so then Obito obviously declares war. And uh, when so we shall prepare for war. Go little pirates there. I don't care what anyone says. I like Pirates 1. I like Pirates 2. Nah, it's good as Pirates 1. First one's the best one. I like Pirates 1, 2. I like all the Pirates movies. Some are better than others, but I like all the Pirates movies. <laughs> so we shall prepare for war. <laughs> and, but at the same time, the question is, who was made the leader of the, uh, great, uh, the Shinobi Alliance? And I do believe that Naruto, I think with the discussion, Naruto even points out that Look, I understand if there's mistrust with all our villages because of the Okatsuki. Choose A if you... Because he chooses... He's thinking about choosing A because he brings up the whole issue of the Okatsuki. So Shinarjo surprisingly actually seconds that. Look, I may not believe that where the Okatsuki came from it should matter, but that's not up for me to decide. It's up for, for us to decide. If you feel that our connection with the Okatsuki makes it difficult to trust any one of us as a leader... <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Still getting over a cold. <clears throat> uh, later, then I then I will second my vote for A. To which again he's surprised. Like, what the heck? Uh, all right, hi, yeah, great. Woo. And so yeah, so Naruto. Uh, so the day everyone parts ways, and, and you know Gara and Naruto chat for a little bit. May gives him a very flirtatious and friendly smile. Like, I look forward to working on the uh, working with you, Naruto Kun. And it's like um, right, <clears throat> yeah. By the way, no, he's not getting paired with May here. Sorry. There are circumstances where I can pair him with May. But keep in mind, May is about twice his age. And while I said it can't, it's not illegal, it's still kind of... Ewe? <laughs> Let me put it this way. That's for that's for the internet to, to do. Um, I probably, Trust me, I've read a couple fanfics where they get together. Actually, I read one really good, good one. Um, crap, I can't remember who did it. And ultimately, me, ultimately, the whole plot point was, and by the way, no, I'm not doing fanfics. Don't, just going to cut the nip it in the bud right there. I'm not doing fanfics. Just, just no. I, this is the closest I'm going to do to fanfics. Uh, and no, I'm not going to give you a, I haven't read fanfics in a while. But there was one a while ago. Was it Return to Mist? I think it was called. Where Naruto turns out to be a member of, uh, uh, sorry, May turns out to be an Uzumaki. The Keke Genka she has were actually Uzumaki traits. Naruto is also Uzumaki. He goes, he goes in a mist because the Seven Swordsmen of the Mist. <coughs> and ultimately, you know, gets with May. And actually, despite, and they, they age May down, which is good. Which is, I think, if you're going to pair Naruto with May, it's kind of the way you have to do it. Like, have her still be older than him by a solid margin. Like, maybe about a decade. So make her about, like, 25, 26 versus the 30 some odd she is. And I think that's the way you can make that work. But that's very circum circumstantial. Like, seriously circumstantial. I digress. So, they, uh, they're they preparing Naruto and the gang head back to the village. Meanwhile, Obito is going after the Rinnegan. And Conan tries her best to kill him. Nearly succeeds, but fails as he does the... Um, as he does the Aizanagi. And as I say that, that does confirm in my head that it did come after the Kage Summit. Because we got introduced to Aizanagi prior to Kage Summit with Sasuke versus Donzo, and then we see him use it again. So that, that confirmed in my head right there. It came afterwards. However, he goes to Nagato, and he sees Nagato, and his eyes are open, and he goes to take the eyes, but as soon as he takes the eyes, the eyes burn away. And he's like, what? And he's like, what's, what's going on? And then he sees the eyes, the, the seal on the eyes. Like, basically, Naruto set a dead man trap on there. If those eyes were ever removed, <clears throat> they, would, they would burn away. Someone asked the question of, well, this Naruto is smart enough to know, okay, we can't leave the Rinnegan in his eyes. Someone might try to take, in his head, someone might try to take his eyes. 
And that's true. I don't think Conan would have given Naruto the Rinnegan in this version, because I don't think Naruto would have asked to be given the Rinnegan. Uh, there are circumstances where I designed it where Nagato openly gives him the Rinnegan, but not in this scenario, but not scenarios where Naruto suggests, okay, you should give the Rinnegan to me. But Naruto's not stupid either. He realizes, okay, uh, Nagato said, it's a dead man's seal. Not going to do anything as long as no one tries to take the eyes. Someone tries to take the eyes, the eyes are going to burn out of his head. <clears throat> and so this puts uh, Obito in quite a pickle. <clears throat> because even though he can technically still make his six paths, uh, his Jinchuriki slaves, he can't put the Renegon in their heads. He does not have the Renegon himself. So that's going to put him at an extreme disadvantage here. Naruto gets back, and they're now discussing what to do. So Nari eventually does wake up, though, which is good. And it's like, oh, uh, I, see you hand I see you handle diplomacy pretty well, Brat. All right. So we're, so we're all going to be doing this under the name of that... Uh, name of that um, <coughs> I can't remember A's title. Did A have a title beyond 4th Orokage? 4th Raikage? Uh, sort of, whatever. That, li that lightning asshole. Let's call him that. Because they do have a history, we've seen. They've met before, uh, Tsunade and Raikage. Uh, at least in a filler they did. Which was pretty fun. They did an arm wrestling match, and she nearly beat him until he used his speed to basically... Boop, and then, boom! And just use the momentum. Uh, which is really cool. But, um, yeah. So, among the other things they do suggest... Sasuke has been sitting on this for a while. It's like, I would like my brother's eyes implanted in my head. I do have the manga. I've recently discovered I have the mangekyo, but it's gonna take my eyesight eventually. The only way for me to keep it is to implant my brother's eyes in me. Uh, and uh, and this is this was last quarter. Are you sure? It's like, look, Tachi's dead. The clan, it's over. But at least I can still make some use. Uh, I can do some good with what he left behind for the future. And so they do the surgery. Sasuke is not really. He's basically gonna be on the sent to the front lines as soon as he recovers <coughs> and so and so they prepare for war and naruto this version openly knows that he has to go first off they rescue killer b or find killer b anyway he kicks his ass naruto openly knows he has to go into turtle island but because he was able to negotiate as soon as naruto has some control over the nine tails chakra they will be back on the front lines to help we will fast forward through any of his training because really it's just going to come down to Naruto facing off against Kurama. Except here, the fourth, the fourth Okage, Minato shows up before Yubiana does the seal. It's like, hey, Naruto, uh, I see. So it, the time's come, huh, son? Uh, and Naruto still has his blow up on his desk. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, it's, it's fine. I mean, wait, who are you? And there's Benahime. My name is Benahime. It's a pleasure to meet you. Benahime. That was that was a sword of your mom's clan. Oh wait, so you you learned how to use it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Naruto grins. <laughs> yeah, Naruto was like, "Well, thank you for helping my son for so long." And anyway, it's been my pleasure, Lord Okage. Uh, I always I always wished I'd hoped that I would, but the lineage and use of my um, my abilities would continue. Kashina was never really able to awaken my abilities before her passing. <coughs> to which Minato says, "Speaking of which." Because he can probably control the seal, because a little bit of him is in there. He can probably control things uh, to a degree where he can bring Kushina out, because he's not trying to tighten up the seal here. He doesn't have to do that, so he can actually linger for a while. And they have a great moment. It's like, oh, my baby boy! <laughs> it's like, mom! And they have a good, they laugh. It's like, well, we can linger for a bit longer, but it's time for you to take on that fox. Right. And Naruto just, awaken Benihime. Let's, or sorry, oh, let's do this, Benihime and Benihime just disappears the sword appears in his hand and him and karama go straight at it naruto makes multiple clones multiple shibari benihima is binding the fox down blowing him up him pulling trying to overcome it with hate but with kashina and minata there <coughs> he is he just does not work he is not able to be taken advantage of it's like i it's like you will not you can, will not be able to uh, manipulate me and he does one other technique that he has not demonstrated yet. I can, I basically uh, created it based off of the Mizukage's ability, Yagura's ability, to make a copy. Um, and let's see here. Clone webbing. What was it? Uh, did I give it a name? 
I think it's Supani Ben Ur, uh, not Supani Rasengan, no. Um, basically, he does a super version of the countering ability, except it actually creates like a mirror image made out of the E.B. Riazzo and Bleach Chakra here of the target that's coming after him. Essentially, he did, made Yager as a technique out of Benihime. And it makes a Karama clone that just comes in and bashes into him. Naruto, though, is now kind of taxed a bit. And she's like, huh, and but ultimately does succeed as he's also putting seal putting seals in his head and sealing Karama up. So he ultimately finds Karama, creates the seal, and, <clears throat> and gains access to the fox mode. Now, Kisame is ultimately still found out. Guy is there as well. We do know that. Guy and him fight. He, Guy wins. Nothing to be seen there. Naruto and B ultimately head out. And they're on the battlefield. Now, Naruto having sealing abilities and having a Bankai that restructures anything he touches or within its range makes him very invaluable on the battlefield here. <coughs> the long is short. He does meet up with Sasuke, but not before Sasuke had his own problems to deal with. See, as he was recovering, he had a little visitor. Donzo agreed to stay in the village because, well, let's be honest, Donzo's not really good. Donzo would not be capable on the front line that much. That's not entirely true. He's a capable fighter, but in terms of a war like this, him being on the front line actually is not very advantageous. So him being on the front line makes no sense because even though he's powerful... Like, a, like, he's not as old as Anoiki, but the, he's already uh, kind of on watch. And maybe he did send his some of his route, like Tonori and, um, I can't remember the other one, uh, the, the Yamanaka. But he actually stayed behind so he could try to possess, Sok take Sasuke out, or take his eyes. Because that's ultimately what he's trying to do. Or in, basically put a seal on so he could ultimately take his eyes when he's fully recovered. Unfortunately, Sasuke ain't having none of that. As Sasuke was recovering, there were some medic ninjas still there, at least a few. <coughs> Nanzo took them out, but Sasuke, kind of like using his senses, uh, just just crazy choice someone from his hands. Like, ah, it's like, you, what? It's like, yeah, Donzo, right? Um, it's like, you, you really think? And to which Donzo explains what happened the night of Chiyonasuka, really. Uh, the, and so you're... Then to which Sasuke kind of just flinches a little bit, but also is like, so you're saying that I need to, so I, you're saying is I have to kill you. Is that all right? Like, no, that's not. And all of a sudden, Bruh! all right, fine. To a little bit of the dark side of Sasuke's returned, hearing that. And the thing is, Sasuke, you'd think, well, why would Sasuke believe him? Well, why, Sasuke, surprisingly, why would he not believe him? Ultimately, Zazo gets killed by Sasuke. Naruto meets up with Sasuke, and he can tell something's off with Sasuke. Uh, Sa Sasuke is not... He, he's fighting in a war, but he's... He seems absent-minded. Like, there's something on his mind. What's going on? I'll tell you about it later. Right now, let's, let's uh, win a war. Right. And so, Naruto, Sasuke, B, everyone, fighting in the Fourth Great Jinobi War. <coughs> Until then, that is where we're leaving off. I think we'll finish this up next week. Till then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you folks next time.